music going on behind him, Kate Garner's in Brigham City this evening for the match between Box Elder County and Bountiful. Kate, is that music coming from you? No, I wish it was. It sounds like the party's already started, but we are still a couple hours away from it. Now, tonight's game is going to be a big one for the Bees for a few reasons, but the biggest of all might just be that this is the first real home game the team has had here all season long. The Bees are coming into tonight undefeated on a seven-game winning streak. They hope to keep that streak going because tonight is their homecoming game. They haven't been able to play a single game at home until tonight because their new field was being installed, making this homecoming game even more special. In fact, by 2 o'clock this afternoon, parents and fans had already started lining up outside to make sure they got the best seat in the house. I think it's really exciting. Um, I'm happy that we can have our whole town uh, here and all of our student sections, so I think it'll be a party. Okay, so obviously the party, like I said, has already kicked off with the music. I want to show you another way. You can kind of see behind me that there are tons of blankets and things on the bleachers. So the school opened up the gates to the bleachers at 2.30. Everyone who was standing in line saved their spot. And from what I can see, there is not a single open spot on the bleachers except for the student section, which is also blocked off to keep parents out of it. We'll have those highlights coming up at 10 tonight. Live in Brigham City, Kate Garner, ABC4 News.